everyone it's Anne here from Anne Makes welcome if you are new here please uh, don't forget to subscribe also click on the bell so you are notified every time I post a new video and you can also click on the Anne Makes there at the bottom of your screen so you can be subscribed so today I'm bringing you a Dollar Tree haul and on this channel you will see me do a lot of dollar store hauls an arts and crafts supply hauls DIYs, how-tos uh, from anything that's artsy and craftsy. So as I said today, Dollar Tree haul time, so let's get to it. So what I found at Dollar Tree is they had these Dory uh, sticker kits, sticker fun sets. And I like buying these uh, just for the plastic container. I think for me it's it's absolutely worth one dollar U.S. or one dollar twenty-five Canadian uh, for the container, and uh, but of course, who doesn't like Dory, right? And Nemo. So <laughs> I got that, and in some crafty supplies, uh, the Crafty Kids line that we have here in Canada, they had the. Uh, DIY paper shapes and you get 15 pieces so and I got the mermaid shape one and this is the boys the boy one and in here you get yeah 16 16 cutouts again and I got the fairy and the girl so these are great for working with children uh, in school or in art programs to make, decorate their own like paper dolls or just to have, uh, to make, I don't know, puppets, all sorts of things. I will just have these in my stash for my paper crafting and general mixed media stuff that I do. So I also picked up some of these felt leaves. I went to Dollar Tree because I got an idea for making a project with the sign with the red truck that a, a lot of people are hauling. I already hauled two of those signs but I wanted two more. Unfortunately my Dollar Tree doesn't have any more of those fall signs. So, but they still had some leaves and I had missed these last time I had went. I had gone to the store, so I bought two more. I bought two packages, I should say. And there's 20 felt leaves in here. And although I can cut felt leaves with my Cricut, I just thought this would be faster for me to have. And some other little decorations. My Dollar Tree is running out of, of fall decorations already. It's crazy. Um, they have these pumpkin clips. Three little pumpkins. And here, so I got two packages of that. And these, well, everything. There's, I'm not going to say what the price is because the price is the same <laughs> for everything. Okay. I got some of the... Brazilian coffee can coffee coffee candy. I got this one. And in here it's a hundred grams and it's it's like a disposable coffee cup, but it's candy inside. And uh, if you see inside, see it's all little candy. And I know that these are gonna make fun stocking stuffers or basket um, fillers, <laughs> little gifts, you know, for uh, the holidays. So I got a couple of these. I got the Brazilian coffee and the orange zest. Oh, coffee can't truffle flavor. There it is. That's what it is. And the orange zest. And I've been <laughs> buying the Hello Kitty trading card fun packs because inside each one there's a little Hello Kitty figurine. <laughs> And come on, I get I get 14 pieces in here. I get trading cards. I get stickers. I get, what is the other thing? Scene cards. 
and die cut cards and texture cards and more so yeah I've been <laughs> having fun buying these it's such a child like it's a kitty how can I resist really but I wish they had a chuckle cat one because that would be my favorite one and oh at the cash register they had the air fresheners that are stylized like music things and this one is the thousands so it's got little headphones and this one is for the 70s it's got a vinyl record and it's supposed to oh it's supposed to have the scent of ocean the headphones are supposed to have the scent of lemon and then there is also the 80s is a cassette a tape cassette it's supposed to smell like strawberries and there is another one yes the 90s we have cds woohoo now i'm just saying that they should also make the tape deck ones <laughs> There were tape decks in the 70s, too. Remember those? Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. So, these are... I think these are so much fun. And I am saving those for some uh, little stocking stuffers because I have potential... I will. Two new drivers. Uh, and we are talking about you know shopping for a car for you know the new drivers and the household and so i just thought well you know by the time that happens uh these all make great little christmas stocking stuffers for them i think i hope they they have fun putting this using these in the car so uh I saw these Jot Permanent Markers, they're really big ones, the chisel tip three pack. These are excellent for marking boxes, uh, especially in storage or if you're moving. There's a, quite a lot of ink in these usually and that's what I use these for, just for labeling boxes and bins. I got... I got two of these, and they don't look like much, but they are supposed to be LED bike lights, and they're kind of like this, they have a hook here, like this, and I guess you can put this around um, the handle of your bike, or the back of your bike, and I just thought you can also put this on a backpack, and what it does is that it has several different settings, so you get a light, a flashing light, and another type of flashing light. So I thought this is, I got a red one and a white one, and these are going uh, for stocking stuffers as well, uh, because I just thought these are handy for my, my guys, so if they're walking around or on their bikes uh, at dusk, you know, it'll be easier to see them also on their backpacks so they can be seen if they're walking around a desk. So I should get more of those actually. And I saw, you might have seen it, I'm, I'm sure you've seen it, but if you didn't, go check it out. Crafty Share Cupcake had a video where she showed us what she does with these shelf liners that she hauls and I have I've hauled shelf liners before and I have done things with shelf liners myself in the past but I was blown away by uh, Shara's idea she cuts these to use them as rib ribbons for wreath making and it's awesome so I said oh I gotta copy that and totally ripping you off Shara <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I went and stocked up on beige shelf liner to use in alternative forms for my crafting and uh, black because I thought this will be good for uh, all the Halloween stuff. So I got that. Uh, this is totally random, but uh, they had the 
McCormick Gourmet Hollandaise Sauce. So I bought a pouch of that to have on hand. It's not something that we make very often, but uh, usually, you know, if we have company coming or something and we want to make a fancy little sauce for something, this will be handy to have. I got some more nibs. There were two other bags. I'm just saying, there were two other bags. Let your imagination run wild on that one. I got stickers because, come on, they're beautiful. These are the pop-up ones. I couldn't resist. I have no idea what I'll do with it, but I just wanted it. And I got these ones. I like these ones, too. These are the jot ones. And I find they look so very Happy Planner-ish like. So... I thought that would be fun to have. And this one too. Oh my, this kind of shiny. It's all a summer theme. And wouldn't you know it, my Dollar Tree put out some new books. And really, they don't put out a lot of books very often. So I jumped on these. Uh, I got this one, the Paleo Primal. Uh, and five ingredients or less. So it's a recipe book about more than 200 sugar-free, grain-free, gluten-free recipes. Uh, we're, we're not on that paleo diet, although it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> uh, but it's got some nice recipes in here. So I wanted to get that. Oh, and then I got this because I love mysteries and my husband uh, it likes um, uh, like crime, well crime stories, crime, well we like to watch a lot of movies and so uh, we, we like th crime movies and you know where you like a whodunit type of thing and uh, I found this little book of forensics, 50 of the world's most infamous Criminal Cases Solved by Science by David Owen. I just thought um, this would be a really interesting read. And they also had this one, Glenn Beck's um, Dreamers and Deceivers, More True and Untold Stories of the Making of America. And this is another really interesting read. Um, Trumbo, a biography of the Oscar-winning screenwriter who broke the Hollywood blacklist. Was being, parts of, many people in Hollywood were being blacklisted by the um, administration of that, of the country, so. That's interesting reads. And I find, I saw these and my store had so few of these, really crazy. So I got two of these red vases, vases, uh, in this, with the nice jute and the tassel. It's a nice deep red. So I thought this will be very nice for fall. I just thought it'd be very versatile. I'm thinking this is nice for fall. It is nice for Christmas. It's also nice for Canada Day because it's a little maple leaf and it's red. So many different uses for it. And Dollar Tree, uh, I had heard about it, but I had not seen it until I went on Friday. And they have these lip balms. They are they look like the EOS type of lip balms, but they're Billy, Billy Ball Balm, Billy Ball Balm, Balm, <laughs> Billy Ball Balm. Bomb, bomb. So yeah, so I got this one, and I'll try to tell you, they're probably scented or flavored. So I got this yellow one. Uh, it is supposed to be oh pineapple. The this is peach, and this is cherry. So. We'll see. Just extra little lip balms. And they're also great little stocking stuffers. 
So I saw some Expressions Hallmark note cards and I thought these looked very tasty, these donuts. So I got that and my store put out some new, well not new, it's the, the they've had this before but they just replenished the shelves with the um, scented oils and this one is fresh linen and also got the fresh yeah the fresh linen scented candle this is my favorite scent that Dollar Tree has and that is that for my Dollar Tree haul I hope you enjoyed and get some get some ideas for your uh, fall decor and you might want to head out to your Dollar Tree sooner than later because if my store is any indication uh, the stuff's going fast summer's not over and they're already running out of fall decor stuff at Dollar Tree <laughs> well at my Dollar Tree uh, that's it thanks so much for watching please give this a thumbs up a like a comment please share and stay crafty bye